hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have uh, m divided by m plus m plus m is equals to 3 times of m and we solve this problem for the values of m and here we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, in first method the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to focus in the denominator term and you see here that these are the three like terms uh, and added by each other so you know that how to add the like terms in order to add the uh, like variable terms we need to add the coefficients of uh, these terms okay so we have uh, the coefficient of these three terms are one and it is added by three times so it will be written as three times of m is equals to 3m and we know that here uh, you don't uh, see any denominator here so that we can write here uh, one uh, and now here we need to cross multiply the terms and when we cross multiply the terms we multiply one with this m and we multiply this 3m with this 3m so this will be written as m times of 1 is equals to 3m multiplied by 3m and now further in the next step we have m times of 1 is equals to m and this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and m times of m is equals to m square and because we solve this problem for all the values of m uh, so for this we need to move this m to the right hand side and when we move this m to the right hand side it will be written as 9m square this is positive m when we move in the right hand side it will become negative m and this whole equation is equals to 0. And you see here both of these terms involve m uh, so uh, here we need to take common m from here and when we take common m we will get here the remaining values are uh, here we get this is 9m minus when we take common this m so from here we get 1 only and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 9m minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the our first uh, real uh, root of the given equation uh, and now here in order to find the other root we need to solve uh, this ex this equation so here uh, in order to find the value of m we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes 9m is equals to plus 1 and here we divide both of the sides by 9 and when we divide both of the sides by 9 it will be written as this 9 is cancelled out by this 9 and we will get here m is equals to uh, 1 divided by 9 so uh, this is the second root of m so uh, here uh, i can just say that these are the two roots uh, so uh, here now we uh, need to check that uh, which one of roots are the solution of the given equation for this we need to verify these two roots so for a verification of the roots uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is m divided by m plus uh, m plus uh, m is equals to 3 times of m so this is the our given question statement and now here we need to substitute uh, both of these values of m here so in this side we put the value of m is equals to 0 and uh, here we put the value of m is equals to 1 over 9 so when we put this value of m equals to 0 here it will be written as 0 divided by 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equals to 3 times of m and here we again put m is equals to 0 so here we know that when we add 0 of any times uh, it will becomes always 0 so this 0 over 0 plus 0 plus 0 becomes here 0 and this is 3 times of 0 becomes here 0 
and here you know about this this is the zero by zero form or in other words we say that it is the indeterminate form or in in very simplest way we can just say that uh, this uh, will be undefined form okay uh, so this is uh, undefined form and uh, when we choose our m is equals to zero then our given equation is undefined this means that this root is not satisfied our given question statement so here uh, we just rejected uh, this case and we proceed here the second case only and in second case we have the value of m is equals to 1 over 9 and we substitute this value of m into the uh, this equation here okay so when we put this value here it will becomes 1 over 9 divided by 1 over 9 plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 9 is equals to 3 times of 1 over 9 and now here uh, we need to take the LCM in the denominator terms and we see here the LCM in the denominator is 9 and we add its denominators this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 becomes here 3 and it is equals to this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and we will get here 1 over 3 and this 9 is cancelled out by this 9 and after cancellation you see here we get 1 over 3 is equals to 1 over 3 so this shows that the value of m is equals to 1 over 9 is satisfied our given question statement so we have only one solution of the given equation is m is equals to 1 over 9 so uh, here uh, we again solve this problem for a second method and in second method we first need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is m divided by m plus m plus m is equals to 3m and now here in second method we just divide first both of the sides by m or we multiplying both of the sides by 1 over m in this way okay so when we multiply both of the sides by 1 over m it will be written as m over m plus m plus m is equals to this will become 1 over m is multiplied by 3m and here you see that this m is cancelled out by this m and we will get here m plus m plus m becomes here 1 over 3m and here this m is also cancelled out by this m and we will get here 3 only so because we find the value of m uh, so that's why we need uh, to move this 3 in the left hand side and this 3 uh, this m to the right hand side so it will become 1 over 3 multiplied by 3 is equals to m only and here finally we will get here the value of m is equals to 1 over 9 so from both of these methods we will get here the same value of m and this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos